Hello, my name is Sasha Henrichs and in this video I'd like to explain my way on sculpting wooden stuff in Mudbox for that we'll achieve this result. But first we'll sculpt the medium details with normal sculpt brushes and then using stencil for the high details. Medium details are cracks for the tree rings in front and top of this plank and the high details are the fine texture of this wood. First we use the scrape brush for rounding the corners of the plank where we'll place big cracks on the side. We use a broad fall off, placing the bezier handles of the fall off all right on the top, and then uh, go for rounding up the edges. In this case, I have a hard time for getting smooth results. That's because I forgot setting the brush spacing to zero. See it here. Setting to zero will get much nicer, smoother results. Having done this I use the normal scalp brush for the cracks and for this I use the stamp image that is also used in the knife tool. Randomize should be left off, however. The cracks should also be sculpted on the top and bottom of your plank and the cracks in front of the head of the wood can be sculpted in an angle since they should always point to the center of the tree rings which we will sculpt later. Also in this case I forgot to set the stem spacing to zero but actually it works fine here. Always try small sculpt strokes since wood is very organic it's no problem to be not too accurate here after this use also again the scrape tool to shave off the edges the front and side edges of the wood Okay, done that. Now we'll go for the tree rings in the front. Also use the sculpt brush with the stamp image of the knife tool and use short strokes to define your tree rings. Never mind the already uh, sculpted cracks in the wood. there. Sometimes you can try and use the erase tool to get back details you shaved off earlier. Oh, not getting back details but the, uh, the main form that was defined in the beginning. Then I use a scrape brush again for the side parts of the wood. Anyway, for this uh, video I only sculpt one part, the front part of this plank, just to point out the techniques. Then always, but I also use the sculpt brush on the sides. It's a good idea to draw the cracks on the side in an angle for getting more visual vari variation in this piece. Also don't forget the bottom side. More cracks, even more cracks. When medium details are done, create a new layer and name it Details. For these I always use a foamy brush since it tries to keep earlier sculpted details on the topology when using it. Open the stencils tab in the bottom of the application and take a stencil that you created before in Photoshop using a texture. 
Mudbox does not ship with a great set of stencils, so you are forced to create them on your own. Turn the viewport so that you look onto the plank and also turn and scale the stencil using the shortcut S as explained in the small field on the left in the viewport. Don't forget to set stamp spacing to zero and then paint your details in into the plank. Always turn the stencil and do this for all sides of your plank. You can always hide the stencil with shortcut Q to examine your results. Always try to turn the stencil so it follows the direction of your cracks. And sometimes it may look that Mudbox produces some error in detail sculpting, but that's because of the level of detail display Mudbox uses for be getting better performance. If you get some artifacts, just zoom in a bit and see the full detail level again. There. Don't forget the corners. Also the other side. There. Turning the stencil. Examine your results. And to get harder edges or more narrow cracks, you can try the grab brush and push both sides of a crack together. Now always use short strokes, very short strokes, and follow the cracks with this. This actually works very great. So grab tool is very powerful to use. Then you can also use the contrast brush to overdo your details some more. It's kind of personal preference how you like your normal maps and I do like them always a bit overdone so that the details are always good to see in the game engine environment even if you have a third person game. And that's it so far that's all about planks I hope you liked it and perhaps we see you again in the next video of the series which I will always show on my blog named sashahenrichs.blogspot.com bye